Hi everybody, Emery from PDMG here. We have a really cool uh, piece for you guys today. Um, we have created the PDMG Ultimate Checklist for um, selling on Amazon. So if you um, are a seller on Amazon or you want to start selling on Amazon, this is gonna be a really, really, really great checklist of all the things that you need to do um, to get yourself going and to successfully start selling and continue to sell on Amazon. Um, so we've tried to cover everything that we think you might need here in this list, but just be sure on the right hand side to reference our included links for more in depth uh, blogs and videos uh, on certain topics. So basically what we've done is um, linked throughout here. Um, if you are looking at a specific um, number on this checklist and you want to learn more about it, um, we've got a link for it most likely and you can it'll take that link will take you to either our blog or our YouTube. Um, where we have created more in-depth, you know, videos like these or blog posts um, about that specific topic. So just be sure to check this out. Okay, so let's start with this first group here of getting started. So getting started selling on Amazon, first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to choose your selling plan so that you can create a selling account. Um, you can choose between either a professional plan or an individual plan. Um, the individual plan is really only suitable if you sell less than 40 items a month. If you sell more than that, the professional plan um, is going to be your go-to. And the professional plan is great because it gives you access to all of the selling tools that are available. Okay, so number two is you'll want to complete your registration and create a selling account. Um, you'll need some important pieces of info here to do this. You'll need your bank account number, bank routing number, chargeable credit card, uh, government issued ID, tax info, phone number, um, all that good stuff in order to complete the sign up and complete your registration. Uh, next thing you want to do is just make sure, um, number three here, to understand the cost of selling on Amazon. We've got a link here if you want to go check out some specifics on fees. Um, these two are actually links to Amazon. This is a link to their fee chart, and this is a link um, to go sign up for an account. Um, but the rest of these are all um, PDMG related links where we talk more in depth about the topics. Um, but jumping up back over here to understanding the cost of selling. So there's always going to be a referral fee per unit sold for every sale on Amazon. So know that, and the referral fee is based on the category you're selling in. So this link is gonna be helpful in understanding that. And then know that FBA incurs an additional fee based on the size and weight of the product. Um, and we'll talk more about FBA um, as we get further down the list. Okay, so moving on to listing your products. So what you're gonna do here, number four, is use the add a product tool and choose the category for your product. So are you selling shoes, shampoo, what have you? Uh, be sure to th really think carefully and choose the most granular category possible. Um, it can be very difficult to change product categories later down the road. So you wanna make sure that you are choosing the category that makes the most sense for your product. Next is you're going to create your first listing with all of this information here. So your G10, um, which would be a UPC, ISBN, or EAN. That's your product ID. That is super important. Um, your SKU. So, you know, come kind of figure out what your SKU name is. Uh, your product title. So what are you selling? What's the product? Uh, you'll want to fill in the brand name, the manufacturer, the price, condition of the item. Is it new? Is it used? Uh, you'll want to fill out the product description and the bullets, which are going to be uh, details about your product. That would be um, where you can provide some more details in addition to that product title. So describing your product a little bit more. You'll want to include a high res image of the product on a white background. That's super important. This is going to be your main image that the customer sees. Um, and just know that you'll need to fill out any section when you're creating your first listing that is red in order to list your product and required fields. So the fields that would be red can change based on the category. So just be sure to look and make sure you're filling out anything that's red for your product. Okay, so going on down here, let's talk about optimizing your listings. Um, number six is fill out all seven side image slots allotted to your listing with high quality descriptive images. We've got a link for that here. If you want to check out our YouTube video, um, you have seven slots that you can fill out. So you want to use them all up uh, with really great images of your product. Number seven is you'll want to build out the A-plus content section. Uh, you have got to be brand registered to do this, um, but that's a really great um, 
graphic section that you'll want to fill out uh, to include information and pictures and things like that about your product. Number eight, make sure your bullet points, titles, and product descriptions are filled with all the necessary keywords to make sure that your products rank in the search results. And these three sections should be descriptive and easy to understand and follow. So you want to make sure that your bullet point, your titles, and your description are all um, as informative and as you know, easy to follow and nice looking as possible. And then number nine, fill out the search terms on the back end of your listing with important keywords. This will also help your products rank in search results. Number 10, use the listing optimizer tool. This is gonna be at the top of your manage inventory page. Um, and you'll use that to fill in any attribute that the system deems important for your product. So it could be the unit count, it could be the fabric type, it could be the style, totally dependent on the product and category, but just make sure to check that out. Okay, going on down here to growing your account. Number 11, you'll wanna start running advertisements on your products and you'll adjust those ads as you learn uh, what ads convert and uh, what don't and make sure you utilize sponsored products, sponsored brands and sponsored display campaign types. Those are all really important. Number 12, run coupons and promotions to drive sales. Uh, they help increase conversion rates. So those are a really great tool. Number 13, apply for brand registry with Amazon. Um, make sure you do this. This gives you, you know, access to a lot of really great tools um, and it protects your brand and your trademark. And you'll fill out the application um, at amazon.brandregistry.com. Little PDMG tip here, uh, supplemental trademarks will not work for brand registry. Number 14, add videos to your listings. You must be brand registered to do this. Another important reason to complete number 13. Uh, number 15, build your brand store. Also got to be brand registered. Uh, your brand store is a page for customers to shop your products. So think of it like a digital storefront. Uh, you can design the page with images and colors and arrange your products to shop in a way that's enticing to customers. Number 16, understand how the buy box works and what it means to win the buy box. That's super important. 17, organically grow your reviews. So sellers can make use of the Vine program to uh, grow their reviews and they can request reviews on completed orders to grow um, that positive review pool. A PDMG tip here is don't manipulate the platform as Amazon will find out and that would not be good. Uh, number 18, you'll want to parent your listings and create variations. So any product that has a variation, so for example, you have one shirt that comes in multiple sizes and colors, needs to be parented. And this allows customers to see all of the variations for, of your product on one detail page. I would definitely check out this blog post here um, because this is super important and it's a really great thing to do for your products. If um, you are able. So your product would need to be, you would need to be selling the exact same product, but it just comes in like a different scent or a different color or something like that. Um, but to be able to um, have variations and create parents, it's got to be the exact same product that's just coming in a variety. Okay, so let's talk about going FBA. So number 19, you will want to look at your array of products and your sales data choose the top performers for some FBA testing. And then you'll want to build your first shipment, uh, your first FBA shipment in Seller Central. And you can follow our instructions here at this link um, in order to do that. Number 21 is you'll want to continue to run a dual shipping program with FBM as your backup in case there are any issues that arise with FBA. FBA is a great way to go, but um, you can keep this FBM kind of on as your backup option. 22, as you add more products to FBA, it's crucial to keep a close eye on your inventory levels and restock your inventory where needed. So that requires constant management to be checking to make sure that your products are in stock. 23, you'll want to continue to fulfill orders and manage returns in a timely manner. Okay, let's just talk about some tips for success here for some things that you'll want to do um, when you are starting to sell on Amazon. So 24, you definitely want to place emphasis on customer service. So you, the seller, need to manage returns, manage your customer questions in a timely manner. Uh, the messages, buyer messages, should be answered within 24 hours. Make use of seller support. Um, that's the Amazon, you know, support line for sellers for 
um, issues and questions. So be sure to email and call seller support uh, when you have issues, whether that's um, an issue with the shipment or an image. It's just really important to stay on top of seller support and open those cases to get your issues resolved. 26, check in and review your account daily. This is super important. Uh, there's a lot of different issues that can arise with selling on Amazon um, and different things that can pop up. So the key is to be constantly looking at your account and know what, what issues to be looking for. Uh, some examples, you know, you might want to track your shipments all the way through receiving. Make sure they get there. Uh, make sure that your listings are active and no products are suppressed. You'll want to watch out for stranded inventory on your FBA listings and Take action if you see something stranded. Um, get those units unstranded. You can create a case to do that or contact seller support. Um, check for A to Z claims or negative feedback. And check your performance notifications. That's important too. All these things. So just be sure to you know keep a watchful eye on your account. 27, use a feed file when you're making updates to your listings. Um, that's really important and allows you to you know get all the pieces and parts filled out of the um listing with the updates that you're making. And we've got a YouTube video on that. Uh, 28, keep track of your data. So download the reports from Seller Central so that you can uh, know what's going on with your account, your sales, your ads, um, everything we talked about above, and you can make informed decisions about your account going forward. Okay, so that is the um, PDMG Ultimate Checklist for selling on Amazon. Um, be sure to use this as your guide. If you are getting started or you're already selling on Amazon and you just want to you know, figure out how to sell more, you can use this checklist um, and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.